Hi, I'm Sean, welcome back to Bidversity. In this video, I'm gonna go through with you how to claim, exchange, and stake the Lyft tokens. I'll treat you like you're an intermediate user and you're familiar with Daisy already. The first thing you wanna do is make sure you're on your computer and that you're using the Chrome browser. On the Chrome browser, you're going to need to install the MetaMask wallet and the TronLink wallet. If you don't have any of those, simply Google MetaMask Chrome extension and or TronLink Chrome extension. Log in to the MetaMask wallet and the first thing we want to do now is add the Binance chain mainnet. Without this, it won't work. So this is very important. Refer to a link below this video, which is an article on how to set this up. In here, all I need to do is copy this URL. Then I go into MetaMask. I click on settings. I go down to networks. See if the Binance Smart Chain main net is available. If it's not, add network. And I just write Binance Smart Chain like that BSC. I put the URL in. Now it's already in my system, so it's not gonna pick it up. Otherwise it may fill things out. But if it doesn't, just look at the information over here. Don't try to copy and paste it, else it will shut down the MetaMask. Type in the information and the symbol BNB like this. And then I'll go down to the bottom and click Save. Once I do that, it's been added. I can now go back and it will be set up. You wanna make sure you're on the Binance Smart Chain Network because MetaMask is an Ethereum based wallet. You need to use the Binance Smart Chain. Now you will see here in MetaMask, we don't have Lyft here, so we need to import Lyft. I have these details here and they will be below the video. So what I wanna do is copy the address for Lyft for the MetaMask address. Then I want to click import tokens. I'll paste the token address in. Everything else will fill out. You can see it confirms this lift. Then I click add custom token. Now you'll see the token is here. I click import tokens and now I go back and now I've got lift in my wallet. The next step is you're going to need BNB in this wallet to cover your gas fees. It's the same as TronLink using Tron as gas fees. The way you do that is to purchase BNB, for instance, from Binance, and then you send it to this wallet. But basically, your receive address is here. You would click receive and then send to that address. That is where you will receive your BNB. Next, we're gonna to wanna to add Lift as a token on our TronLink extension. Again, you will find this address below this video on YouTube. We open up our TronLink extension. Make sure we're in our account, the one that we want to get the Lyft tokens into. Then we click Asset Management or the plus sign. It doesn't matter which one you do. Then you paste that address up the top and Lyft will appear and you'll recognize it by the logo Beware of fake tokens. Really important that you have this address from below this video and then click plus. Then I'll just clear all this up. I can cancel and I can go back to the main screen and you'll see Lyft is now here. Now that we have prepared that, we've got Lyft in our MetaMask wallet. And we've got Lyft in our TronLink wallet. We are now able to claim our tokens. You do that at this address. Again, it'll be below this video. You may get a pop-up that asks you to approve to connect your TronLink wallet to this particular page. It'll pop up here on the left. You need to approve that, of course. And now we can go and claim our tokens. Providing you have some to claim, they're gonna be here as DAISY tokens. We're going to claim them. We need to, of course, make sure that we've got Tron in the wallet. Those Tron are used as gas for the transaction to carry through. If you have about 100 in there, it should be plenty. 
for the entire process. Now I'm going to click claim. It's going to ask me to sign the signature and approve that. Now it's going to process and that process could go for about 60 seconds. Now what I find is that this will scroll for a while, but you will find that the process has actually been approved in here much sooner. What you can do is click refresh. And if you didn't already have DAISY tokens added to this wallet, what you can do is click on the plus sign and see if DAISY has already appeared, which it has. And you can see it's got the 200 DAISY in there that we were claiming. So now I click plus, that will add it to my assets. I click back. And now you see my DAISY tokens are now in the TronLink wallet. As you can see, it's still processing here, but it has actually arrived. I will wait for a couple of green notifications to pop up on here to say that the process is complete. There you go, it's just popped up. You can now see that the amount I can claim has been reduced because it's now in my TronLink wallet. Now, as you can see, we've got DAISY and LIFT in here. And the exercise here is we want to exchange DAISY over to LIFT. So on the same site now, we're gonna click over to exchange. Then, because we're still connected to our TronLink wallet, we're gonna click max. And providing you're still connected, it will take the amount that is in DAISY and it's going to pre-populate that here. Now you can see our Tron has reduced by about, I think 18 Tron for the last transaction. I'm now going to approve to swap DAISY over to LIFT at a one-to-one -one ratio. So I'm gonna click approve. I'm gonna to sign to approve, very important you do this. And I'm gonna let it process. And that again may take a minute or so. Just be patient with this. There you go, it just popped up. Now this is where you can get caught out. Here you will now think that it's all appeared, but it hasn't because you'll see there are no lift here. It still says Daisy. But when I click exchange Daisy again, it will all appear again. So it appears that we need to do this process twice. So now we're gonna swap, we're going to sign, we're going to wait for the little green notification to pop up in the top right. The transaction was successful. Let's have a look in our TronLink wallet. Let me refresh it. And there we go. Our DAISY have now been converted or swapped one for one over to LIFT. The next thing we wanna do is actually transfer our LIFT tokens from the TronLink wallet over to MetaMask because MetaMask allows us to access the Binance Smart Chain. This is what we want to do. See, TronLink is on the Tron blockchain. We want to take it over to the Binance Smart Chain. I'm now going to log out of here just to show you the process properly. You don't need to log out at this stage. Now I'm going to go to app.uplift.io forward slash bridge. And this is the Uplift site where we're going to be able to transfer our Lyft tokens from TronLink over to MetaMask to get them onto the Binance Smart Chain. Now you can see that my TronLink wallet has already connected. See this shows the last three digits here are 4SM and when I check my address, it ends on 4SM. Now you may see a little notification on the left hand side that asks you to sign or approve. You need to do that in order to connect your TronLink wallet. Now you may recall that I deliberately signed out of MetaMask to show you this connect wallet. So it's gonna ask me to connect wallet, but see I'm not logged in. So now I'm going to go to MetaMask and I'm gonna log in. Unlock it. And now you will see it has connected me to my MetaMask wallet, 8AD, last three digits, 8AD. I'm now connected. You may get a notification that asks you to approve, then please do so. Now we are connected with the MetaMask wallet and the TronLink wallet. Tron is on the left, 
MetaMask is on the right, connected to the Binance Smart Chain. If you have a look at TronLink on the left, we got 200.227 Lyft tokens. If I click Max, it's going to populate this. I can then approve it and it will move it over to my MetaMask wallet on the Binance Smart Chain. You see that's now saying zero. Now it's important that I have BNB in here. It's also important that I've got Tron in my TronLink wallet for all of this to happen. So now I'm gonna click approve. I'm going to sign to approve it. And that's my TronLink approving it to be moved out. And now it's processing it to go towards my MetaMask wallet. You can now see the transaction was successful. Again, what we need to stay aware of is that it may need two transactions to go through. The first one is to approve it. The next one is to transfer. If you click max, it will pre-populate it again. You just need to accept that it will take two transfers. Now we're gonna click transfer again and sign it. And there you go, transaction was successful and we know so because it now has a claim button here. So that's now gone from TronLink over to MetaMask. It has moved away from this wallet on TronLink. If I refresh that, you see there's now zero. I go into MetaMask and you will still see zero. I now need to claim them. I'll let that process. I will confirm. This is where you need BNB in your MetaMask wallet on the Binance Smart Chain. I click confirm. If you don't have BNB, you won't have gas to complete this transaction. And the transaction was successful. Now, if we go into our MetaMask wallet and we have a look, there's the activity. We click over to assets. And what do you know? Now we've got our Lyft token in here. This now allows you to sell the token. At this stage, it's on PancakeSwap. But now you've got the token, but more importantly, and this is certainly what I hope you'd be doing, you will be able to stake it. So now go to the final part of the process, staking. We're still on the same page, app.uplift.io, and we click on staking. Now it's just connected with your MetaMask wallet. We've got 200 Lyft tokens. So I'm going to click max. There you go, 200.22. I'm just gonna make it 100 at this stage. I'm gonna vest it, let's say for one month. I'm gonna click stake. It's gonna ask me to sign it. It tells me it's detected a new address. So I'm going to click here and add it to my address book. I'm gonna call it Lyft Staking. Save and confirm. Again, you're gonna need BNB in that wallet for this gas to be enough to transact and process. And there you go, the transaction was successful. If I now look on this page, it says your amount of stake, 100 lift. So when you want to know, how do I know how much I've got staked? This is the actual URL that you want to save. I suggest you bookmark it. And like what I do is I've got a DAISY folder in my bookmarks and everything relating to DAISY, I put them all in there. So that way I don't have to remember them or go and Google it, because this is where you will keep an eye on your Lyft tokens. And here is where you will get all your reporting. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Sean Asmussen, Paysetter Leader with DAISY. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, please drop a comment, and most importantly, please hit the subscribe button so you can get any updates on future videos. Thank you.